Hi, I'm Jared Falk, and in today's video, I want to show you a warm-up that I like to do. Basically, what I like to do is play groups of three as 16th notes. Um, the groups of three are basically a, just a triple stroke roll, okay? So one, two, three, one, two, three. And most people, when they play a triple stroke roll, they'll always think of it as triplets. You know, they'll play it uh, as 16th note triplets or 8th note triplets or something like that. But what I like to do is I like to put on a click and then actually play a triple stroke roll as 16th notes. So now I'm working on my triple stroke roll, either with finger technique or just, you know, bouncing. But I'm also working on uh, getting my brain accustomed to being able to play over the bar line and over the beats. So it kind of gets you used to playing groups of three with 16th notes because normally we'd go one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So in this case, we're gonna go one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E. A three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E. So I know I sounded and I probably looked absolutely ridiculous doing that because I'm trying to play groups of three and count groups of four. So when you actually get up to speed and you start practicing it or, or warming up with it, um, your, your mind starts to process the note values and how it's relating to the click. And you also get to work on your technique, you know, your speed, your hand speed, and stuff like that. So it's kind of killing two birds with one stone. So let's try it again at 100 BPM, and I'll show you guys how the groups of three sound against a click in 4-4. All right, and then if you want, you can actually tap your foot or do something with your feet on either the, the quarter notes or you can do something different if you want to challenge yourself even more. But it sounds like a, a simple warm up and it's like, wow, triple stroke roll, yeah, that's easy to warm up with. Why wouldn't, I, why are you telling me this when I could easily just figure that out on my own? Well, if you actually play it against the 16th notes, you're gonna find it a little bit more challenging. So, you know, wherever you're at, this is something you can practice, even if you don't have a drum set. So you got no excuses, guys. I'll see you in the next video.